Now, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York is bringing charges of bribery, wire fraud, and money laundering against assistant basketball coaches at four Division I universities and a basketball executive at Adidas. The schools are the University of Arizona, Auburn University, Oklahoma State University, and the University of Southern California. But the true center of the scandal is Louisville, though the school is not specifically named in the complaint. The Adidas executive is James Gatto, head of global basketball marketing, though Adidas is referred to as Company One in the complaint. The assistant coaches named as defendants in the complaint are Emmanuel Richardson of Arizona, Chuck Person of Auburn, Lamont Evans of Oklahoma State, and Tony Bland of USC. Certainly this news will rock NCAA college basketball to its core. Many are identifying it as a validation of what people have suspected for years, that behind closed doors, high-profile high school athletes are given money or other gifts to lure them to commit to a certain school. But this scandal is also particularly debilitating for Adidas. It comes at a time when the brand is flying and actively focusing on signing more big universities to long-term sponsorship deals. Just this month, Adidas achieved a new milestone in sneakers, it regained the number two spot in the U.S. athletic footwear market, by share of dollars spent, over Nike-owned Jordan brand. It marked a stunning comeback. This past summer, Adidas announced an unprecedented, long-term partnership with Arizona State University that will involve studying athlete health and science in a permanent, on-campus location. The school and the brand are calling it the Global Sport Alliance, and Adidas even lured a Wharton sports business professor, Ken Shropshire, away from Wharton to work at ASU as part of the Global Sport Institute. ASU switched from Nike to Adidas in 2014. The University of Louisville is not named in the complaint, but the language mentions a student who allegedly received $100,000 to attend a school in Kentucky. The enrollment numbers and timeline referenced match up with Brian Bowen, an All-American basketball player who committed to Louisville in June. The Louisville connection is clear enough that on Wednesday, Louisville fired longtime head basketball coach Rick Pitino and athletic director Tom Jurek. While Nike has an obvious flagship program in the University of Oregon and Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank started his company at the University of Maryland, Adidas has no clear flagship school. Some argued the Louisville deal effectively made the school the Germany-based company's flagship. Adidas, for its part, says, We became aware today of the allegations and intend to cooperate with the relevant authorities. The employee has been put on administrative leave and the company has engaged outside counsel to conduct a thorough investigation. As it focuses on the internal investigation, and as the media dissects the scandal, look for the run of positive buzz for Adidas in America to quiet down. Daniel Roberts is the sports business writer at News Pulse Finance. Follow him on Twitter at, at @reeddanwright. Adidas signs long-term deal with Arizona State to study athletes Adidas blows investors away with stellar 2017 outlook Three big reasons Under Armour has cooled off Adidas is News Pulse Finance Sports Business of the Year for 2016 Adidas enters uncharted territory, going all-in on Kanye West.